Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Alright, out here on National Turnpike, right before you hit Southside Drive at Weekend Burgers. Uh, I'm no stranger to Weekend Burgers because I have already reviewed Weekend Burgers uh, two years ago when it was a food truck and then a second review when they did their grand opening last year when they opened their first brick and mortar. And also, Coach Davis was supposed to be here with me today. Uh, he's also done a couple of heat related challenge videos with me as you saw last week. But Coach Davis ran into unexpected car trouble on the way over here so he couldn't join me. But that brings me to the point. Speaking of heat related challenges, the owner of Weekend Burgers, Mo, has reached out and challenged me after he saw the Arby's uh, Hot Chicken uh, Diablo Sandwich Challenge. He reached out and said he's got a heat challenge of his own. It's called the One Burger Challenge, and it's got uh, the new updated and even hotter Packy One Chip Challenge chip infused into the burger with some other items, and it's basically it's winner take all. You either eat it or you don't. So we're going to go in and check it out, and I might hang around and even eat some other stuff afterward if I go ahead and defeat the challenge. Hey, uh, I just want to show you some of the prep work that's going into this One Chip Challenge burger. This is Mo, the owner of Weekend Burgers, for y'all that don't know him. Uh, he has ordered this new updated Packy One Chip Challenge, which has an additional... Uh, flavoring of scorpion pepper on top of the Carolina Reaper and what he's doing is, is he's grinding them up in a food processor as you see over here he's about ready to do anyway while he's doing that I'm going to show you that he's already ground one chip up and that is going to be going into my burger. Mo, you doing all right over there? I think I got it. All right, there he goes. That's my chip right there. He's grinding up. All right. And I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to meet the challenge. But afterwards, if I'm still able and not in an ambulance, I'm going to plan on eating some other stuff here, including these homemade desserts, chocolate and vanilla eclairs. Oh, he's over, he's over choking, just grinding that stuff up. Anyway, we'll be, be back momentarily. Go ahead and tell me what you got here. We got nacho cheese on the bottom, nacho cheese on top, just enough to make it look like a sauce. Mm -hmm. Put some jalapenos yeah. on there. And then we got two patties with pepper jack cheese. Now I'm going to assemble sandwich and we're gonna add oh yeah here's the good part add some well, of this stuff depending, depending on how you think of it good or bad here comes all that packy chip on there Thank you. Uh oh i'm kind of getting scared i'm not gonna lie and then Ooh. Hope you spread that out a little bit. I'm sure when you take that one bite in there, all that thick chip dust in there, somebody's gonna get lit up. Okay, and while Mo's putting that together, I just wanted to show, I just had to sign a waiver here just in case I had to go out of here in an ambulance. So he's not even playing. I don't, I hope, I don't know if it's too spicy or not, but... I've seen this chip. This is our first time doing it. So. Oh yeah. Actually, I was a little, I was a little overconfident. I think I'm actually starting to get a little worried. No lie. Okay, we'll be back in just a minute. Look at that. Uh oh. Eat the sandwich, and after you eat it, we stay 15 minutes without. 
drinking or eating, put your guys a shirt and a hat, and then also a uh, uh, picture for the wall. Oh, okay. All right. So, All right. Well, Facebook Live. Don't uh, tell them how everyone died. Oh, yeah. Earlier, when he was getting the burgers prepared, he hit, had one little bitty crumb that it had fallen off and put it in his mouth. He was back there like completely lost his composure for like five minutes. That's why we're delayed here. We're already still supposed to start. But anyway, uh, appreciate you having me here, Mo. Hello out, everybody out there at the Facebook Live. Sorry Coach Davis couldn't be here. Had a little car trouble. Uh, also, this is gonna be on YouTube probably tomorrow. So go ahead and uh, make sure you turn in for the YouTube video because I'm probably going to be staying around and eating some other stuff, hopefully. All right, so tell me when you're ready to hit the timer. Well, the timer starts this. after you guys finish. Oh, okay. All right. Well, with that said, let's go. You ready? Oh, this is Alan, by the way. Did you already get introduced? All right. Here we go. Oh, hey, good luck, guys. Thank you, sir. I'm actually, I, I swear, you know, as many hot things I eat, I'm really kind of scared. That's <laughs> pretty good. Does it taste better than a chip alone? <laughs> you can feel the heat moving in. <laughs> I'm trying not to inhale in my mouth. Because if this dust goes down my throat, I'm done for. This is plenty hot and it's starting to build up. Well, I, I think it's hotter than the chip itself because it's just grinds it up. Can we get some napkins up? Yeah. And he's got fresh jal uh, jalapenos on here and pepper jack cheese. That's because you said that Bergman was going to make it mild. Look there. I'll tell you what, if it didn't have that one chip challenge dust on there. I mean, it's tasty even with the dust, but this would be one of the things that you would eat all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the heat is moving in. Is this a double or a single? Double. I think using the snapping turtle technique might be a good idea. I feel like I got shot with no gloves in my mouth. I see what my name is. Yeah, from double face today. Anything I was gonna make? That is hot. Let me just tell y'all. Oh. This is a lot hotter than that Arby's Diablo <laughs> sandwich, I can guarantee you that. Or Joe Ellis. Oh, yeah. Mmm. It's really getting hotter. Wow. Mmm. Almost made a fan. Yeah, my nose is starting to run a little bit too. Just be careful and touch your eyes. Or go to the bathroom. <laughs> this is tasty too. That's what I do love about some challenges. Not only uh, this one, not as only hot, but it tastes good. Most of the other challenges I've done. <clears throat> They weren't made to taste good. They were just made to kill you. Mm -hmm. But I'm in a lot of pain, but it's tasty. Uh, do you want me to get some milk ready for you guys? To put there just in case you guys need it right away? How long will you get a couple, couple cups? Five minutes? You said 15 minutes? Yeah. yeah, but you want me to get a couple bits? Uh, this couple is way hotter than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. That is. Alan, you want a couple, you want me to get a couple milks ready? No milk yet. I mean, you can go. Well, but if I break, mm -hmm. I'm going for one of them chocolate eclairs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, can you uh, ask oh. if we have to get two large cups of milk just to have it ready for them in case they need it? Oh my gosh. I way underestimated this. I thought because it was going to be infused on the burger. Mm -hmm. Yes. That I wouldn't be able to take it. Ooh. 
or that it would dilute down to where I'd be able to take it easy. How are you? Definitely hot. This is hot. Gotcha. When he when he finishes. Oh, one more box. I wasn't worried about you guys eating. I just didn't know how. how the spice bad, level how was bad. definitely up there. Mm -hmm. This chip is way hotter than that first packy challenge I did last year. You can refer back to that video. Uh, if this was just a chip alone, <coughs> I'd be in some serious trouble right now. Alan started out faster. Alan started out faster than the good old one. All right. So the rule is, we gotta go 15 minutes with no food, drink, no relief whatsoever. So we're gonna cut away right now on the YouTube video. Facebook Live is gonna keep going. Got 59 people watching. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut away on the YouTube video and get back with you in 15 minutes, and then we're gonna follow up from there. Be right back, YouTube. Back for uh, Little clip where we still got eight minutes 57 seconds left before the, the clock's up that we can eat or drink anything. Of course, Mo was gracious enough to put some cups of ice cold milk in front of us. <laughs> Wouldn't want to tempt us here, would he? But Alan and I, we're already claiming victory. I think we're out of the danger zone. The heat's starting to go down. So, what we got here? I destroyed the Packy One Chip Challenge. That's all. Put it this way, second. We destroyed it. <clears throat> All right, it's all just a formality now. 8.25 left. We'll be back soon. All short. right, got 10 seconds left on the challenge. And uh, five, four, three, two, one. All right, it's cold milk time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that definitely put the, what the fire was left, that definitely put it out of there. All right, I'll be back with you shortly and I'm gonna get into some of these other items now that I've gotten through this challenge in one piece. Alan, good job, man. We did it. It was fun. All right, see y'all in a minute. All right, as winners of the uh, Pacquiao One Burger Challenge, uh, we won t-shirts and ball caps and of course, a free uh, scoop of ice cream coming here. But anyway, uh, while we're at this, speaking of the challenges, I'm gonna go ahead and compete in what he calls the four by four challenge, where you eat five four patted uh, cheeseburgers here. It's got 50 ounces of meat plus all the fixings and the buns. So that's gonna be coming at a future date. Uh, so I'll let y'all know ahead of time when that's going to take place. Do you realize that's right now it's 4-0 for uh, burger? 4-0? 4-0. Yeah. We'll be the first mm -hmm. time. So you, we've got four yeah, winners. The, they were the first contestants. Mm -hmm. Oh, on the 4-by-4 four four mm -hmm. four or yeah. the one burger? On the, on the one burger. So you've got four people that have actually done the 4-by-4 four four challenge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, it's going to be number five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be right back in a little bit with some more all food. right so for you all that haven't seen my previous review here at weekend burgers i'm going to show you around the place do a little walk through uh really cute uh very clean place i'll tell you what uh on the way in i saw that health department rating 100 percent a plus anyway come up here you order up here you make the food back there as i said homemade desserts homemade ice cream and then over here they got a side room that you can actually use for parties if you have like private parties they actually will let you use this room looks like they could hold probably 50 to 75 people back here anyway this place is great as you will see here momentarily all right so all my foods here 
so even though this is a burger joint, I got a Philly cheesesteak and well, I got a lot of other stuff besides the Philly cheesesteak, but that's what I'm gonna start in on first. So let's go ahead and go here. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You can see there, it's got the peppers and onions. And is that nacho cheese, Mo, or? That's American cheese. American cheese. Mm -hmm. On a very good bun. That's locally bun. Yeah, this is a locally made bun from bakery up the street. What's the name of that bakery, Mo? Yeah, it's Euro, Euro Cafe. Euro Cafe. Mm -hmm. It's a bakery. Is that over on Southside Drive? It's right next to Ken Towery, between Ken Towery. Okay, now we'll move on to the next item. Which just because I took a couple bites, don't think for a minute, I'm not gonna come back and finish it. All right, this is what's called the four by four burger, which you heard me say earlier was, uh, I'm gonna be accepting the four by four challenge. This is it, four patties, uh, all the fixings. Look at there, American cheese, Go ahead and give this a bite. And you notice that they put the lettuce and tomato on top. Now, I haven't talked to Mo about this, but I'm assuming that is to preserve the bottom bun to where it doesn't get sloppy. Because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of burgers, you know, the grease will come straight through the bottom bun after the first or second bite. It's just a hot mess. But anyway, mm -hmm. a lot of meth uh, method to the madness here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Get that nice uh, mm -hmm. smashed burger taste. Get that mm -hmm. grill surface. Feels crusty edges. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get any better than that as far as smashed burgers go. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna work on some of this food and I'll get back to you with a couple more items. Right. Next item, I've got the kebab sandwich, which uh, is beef kebab. Uh, I'm sure y'all have heard of kebab before. You know, it comes on like gyros and gyros, depending on where you're from, how they pronounce it. But I'm putting on this tahini sauce, which is a yogurt based, spiced with garlic and sesame seed and other spices. You see, I don't get shy on the spice there. But this item is on a trial basis right now. It's a, on a temporary menu. Look at that. And look at those pieces of kebab on there. So anyway, there, this is on a limited time basis only. So. If it, if it goes over big, it might become permanent, but y'all need to get in here just in case it comes off the thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I can already tell this will be delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Full-fledged warfare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I can really taste like some seasoning in that beef kebab. What is the beef kebab season with, Mo? It's got uh, paprika, garlic powder. Uh, yeah, I can definitely cinnamon, taste like the. Some other stuff. I can definitely taste it. 50 different seasonings. It's got the uh, garlic. Really good. All right, I'm gonna smash this. Be right back with the next item, another uh, surprise item here which we'll get to in just a minute. All right, one of my last items here before dessert is the Cajun Loaded Fries, okay? It's got nacho cheese, ranch dressing, and Cajun seasoning, and of course the shoestring cut fries here. Mmm, mmm-hmm. I'll tell you what, that's a perfect blend of the three. The Cajun seasonings has that zest and the ranch. Oh, wow. Look at all that. Mmm. And those fries, they're, they're hand cut. But anyway, this is definitely... Uh, a winner here on this item. If you come here, not only you gotta get the burgers, but get the loaded fries also. Be back in a minute, because I'm gonna get a chocolate eclair. All right, 
just to show you, this is all I'm taking home. I had uh, the kebab sandwich, I had the four by four, I had the challenge burger, I had the Cajun fries, loaded fries, which I could finish that stuff right now, but I got to carry out uh, for Melissa and the girls. So I'll finish this when I get home with the other stuff and eat with them. But I'm going to wrap it up here with this vanilla eclair, which is homemade. All their desserts here are homemade, by the way. But anyway, before I get into this, uh, I just want to I want to thank Mo over here uh, for uh, reaching out with the challenge. Had a lot of fun doing it, and it was legitimately hot. I got a feeling that future challengers are going to get a little bit more heat than what I had yeah, today. This, this was a test run to see because I didn't know I couldn't taste it myself because I, I don't do spicy food. Mm -hmm. I knew he does spicy food, so I needed his opinion on where we're at with the spice level. And we, we're probably going to have to make that a little bit spicier right. to make it worthwhile as a challenge. So Now, I will say, on a heat level, a challenge heat level, mm -hmm. 1 to 10, I told Mo it was a solid 7. But if he does a couple things here and there, he can get it up there probably to at least a 9. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. All right, well, let me go ahead and start on this eclair. I've had it before, and if you've seen my previous videos, you, you would have already seen this, but for you all that have not been here or seen this before, chocolate eclair, it's uh, kind of like a, this is a vanilla, and it's got like a vanilla pudding, cake, chocolate uh, icing on the top. Custard, yeah. yeah, custard. Mmm. It's mm. texture of tiramisu. Mm -hmm. mm. When they show in Webster's Dictionary mm -hmm. uh, definition of fat person, mm -hmm. they ought to have this like right next to it. Custard. Custard mm -hmm. and fat people go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that, that is so tasty. Mm -hmm. All right. So as I said, I'm coming back out for the 4x4 four four challenge. Uh, that'll be coming up sometime in the near future. Uh, get out here to uh, National Turnpike, Weekend Burgers. Got to support local. Mo's a great guy, mm -hmm. and but I'm gonna say just so it's not personal, mm -hmm. I come here anyway because the food is awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, with that said, that's a wrap, and y'all don't know nothing about this weekend burgers. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.